Let's take a look at this gun. This is the Caltech RDBC. C. What's the C stand for, Chad? Chad. It stands for you? Yeah. So this is it's your fine. version of the RDB. It is. Yeah, I developed this whole thing. Uh, it's brand new for 2016. <laughs> Guys will probably take that literally, right, Chad? Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Here comes the royalty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, actually, I, I'm not even sure what they're... I think the C is supposed to stand for compact uh, because it's uh, obviously a hunting variant of the RDB. Right. Internals are the same, gas system's the same. Uh, the difference is uh, it's going to be in 6.5 Grendel and also 5.56 with a 20-inch barrel or 24-inch barrel option. Dude, I dig that. Legal in California, so no bullet button requirements, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, same downward ejection, all that. Uh, difference is uh, cross-bolt safety. And uh, you, know, you got your uh, bolt release on both sides. So some holdovers from the bullpup yeah. uh, fire controls and stuff. Yeah, exactly. But a lot more room and real estate to shoot the gun with. Yeah, That's good looking. Yeah, it That's is. That's pretty neat. Uh, threaded muzzle, it looks like, correct? Yeah. We should go run with it. Uh, why don't you come out? Okay. Bring it and let's run it. Can I give you just a little piece of advice, though? <laughs> you know where I'm going, right, yeah. PFI? <laughs> oh, make dude. sure your magazines are good. <laughs> you know what? Let's go this bear. is Caltech booth, dude. Let's As go, it happens, let's what? go bear hunting with it. <laughs> <laughs> that bear liked big league chew, apparently. We'll shoot, we'll shoot the crap Inside out joke. of it. <laughs> <laughs> go look on the B channel, dudes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, run it. Let's. Yeah, we'll so run if it. If you're having a bad day, save that video to your uh, desktop. Click on it. It'll make your day every B time. B-channel, look up bear scat. <laughs> uh, so, you've been shooting a lot. You're kind of on the shooting team. Not kind of, but you are the shooting team for Caltech. Yes. Caltech, true? Yeah. Okay. I'm one of four guys, yeah. What guns are you shooting on the on the team? The RDB. Actually, I got my RDB over here if you want to see it. But, uh, okay. yeah, the RDB, um, I just got an STI DVC from a pistol and then a Benelli M2 for shotgun. Okay. So, I count one Caltech product. Yes. We have to <laughs> we have to shoot at least one Caltech product. Obviously. Is Caltech ever going to come out with a and I'm not saying or advocating that you should because the competition is so fierce and so excellent. Right. A full-size pistol. Come back next year. Oh. Oh, That's all you I can heard say. it first. He's not saying it officially, but you saw his expression. Yeah, just come back next year. And if you look at Chad's expression, it's usually one of confusion. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, <laughs> at I'm least a, when he's finding the bear scat. I'm an awful poker player. Just mess around, guys. Yeah, I like that gun, though. That's RDBC. Yeah. Uh, and what I was going to ask, and more, on a more serious note, it's been reliable for you, the RDB, right? Yeah. Okay, so, because uh, we had a couple stoppages, but we, we pretty much attributed those to the magazine when you came, came and ran a gun yeah. with us. Is that correct? Am I yeah. saying that right? Yeah, yeah. I have the same. I still have the same gun. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. And no but, problems. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, you know, also had a, that gun is a pre-production prototype too. So we we talked about that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. We covered that. Go watch those videos if you're yeah, interested. Yeah. They changed. Uh, they changed. Tweaked a few things in the mold, and they've done some stuff to it. Okay. So, for the production model. So are you yeah. hearing good things with the RDB being out? People put rounds through it. Maybe competitors. Yeah. Maybe recreational. Whatever. Not necessarily competitors just yet. Uh, you know, other okay. than us, because um, bullpups in three gun aren't you know super popular. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a lot of guys running around and having a good time. Cool. Yeah. I'm How about CMR? What's the track record on that? Uh, CMR 30 is still slow to production. Uh, we'll have to talk to Toby about that. He had some, uh, uh, what you call it, like uh, manufacturing hiccups, um, tooling, things like that. So, you know, I mean, we, when you build guns that are proprietary like this, we have to build all of our own tooling and all that stuff. So. He's just having uh, problems with that. But, okay, uh, I so think he's smoothing it out, but it's yeah, it's still they're still slow to come out. I what I said in the review, and you know this, but just to recap to the viewers is I just think the magazine needs to be improved, perhaps maybe uh, make it out of steel. Nice. Yeah, because I just think there's so much friction as it comes down double Look. to single column, it just doesn't yeah. feed. I mean, it's Look, I'm a, I'm a team here. I'm one of you guys. I know I, you. Are. I, I'm I hit them hard with all this stuff too, man. But you know, okay. it's it's the office against the field. It's okay. always like that. Do you want me to edit that part out? No, 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 not at all. I mean, <laughs> okay. because I mean, we we discuss this stuff all the time. Yeah, you know, and because uh, you guys are aware about it though, and it's right. But maybe. I mean, at the you know at the end of the day, it comes down to like, you know, once you've got a mold or something like that, it takes a while to process, do testing, you know, yeah. all that stuff. So like you and I, yeah, we want metal feed lips or maybe even metal mags. Okay. But they've got to look into all that stuff. It's a completely proprietary system. You know what I mean? Amen. So 
Uh, you're to be congratulated for yeah. coming out with it. Because yeah. you well, can walk you know. this entire showroom floor and you're not going to find... Where is one so we can look at it yeah. while we're talking? Yeah, but how would you perfect uh, the CMR is what we're talking talk about. about the problem. Here exactly. we go, CMR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're talking, of course, this guy. I mean, I love that Caltech came yeah. out with that. And as soon as there's a magazine, in my opinion, I mean, and that's all I mean, it is. It's a rival. It's, yeah. it's a home run. That said, I mean, you know, there are there's tons of people that, that have it and don't have any issues with it. Okay, but, that's what I'm asking. Too. Right, but... um. You know, I would love to have Metal Max for this thing too. And to be honest with you, I mean, from the beginning, the magazines, in my opinion, were, I mean, they were questionable for me. But that was first generation, you know, all that stuff. Was the so magazine they, design changed at all? Yeah, you know well, of? not necessarily the, the design, but they changed materials. Oh. And uh, Toby did a lot of work on perfecting the follower in the spring. So these mags may even be uh, different than the ones that you had. That could very well be. Yeah. Do you mark them anyway, so uh, so the consumer knows, hey, this might be a first gen material. Negative. That that's what I tried to represent the tabletop. It's yeah. like, well, I really don't know what magazines I have. They were earlier PMR mags, yeah. but at the same time, I ran them in PMRs and I, some of those mags they did great. Yeah. So Chad, let me ask you a question. As a spokesperson, the social media rep, the shooting team rep of Keltec. Oh my gosh, does he shoot that way? Big time. That's Is the quality <laughs> at Caltech better than it was before? You it and I is. talked about a couple years ago about something that was happening at the Caltech factory. Can you tell the viewers what has changed? We are now ISO certified. Okay. And for those of you not familiar with ISO is, it's, uh, it's basically a program that completely reorganizes your company from top to bottom. And uh, we, we got it. You know, it's a it's a very tough process. It takes a couple of years to get through it. It's extremely expensive, but to George, it was worth it to get things organized and uh, and take care of some of the you know the issues that customers are having. So and somehow yeah. you survived that re reorganization <laughs> top to bottom by the skin of my said, teeth. <laughs> Chad Enos, we're going to keep him on. Yeah, you know what they did instead of uh, keeping me in manufacturing, they just moved me to marketing because it's kind of hard to screw that up. There you You're go. perfect for marketing. I made a. And this is a little oh, tidbit. That's, that's his fault, by the way. I uh, made a phone call. I was yeah. like, if you don't put this guy in charge of marketing at Caltech, you guys are crazy. True story. True story. And that's, yep. He is the face of Caltech, yes. and might I say, a very excellent one. Uh, I mean, not like not look, nice. looks is bad. <laughs> right. But the personality you have is awesome. Awesome. Well, okay, so ISO um, results in a higher quality firearm built to higher quality standards? Is that what Absolutely. you're telling us? Yeah, they, uh, the way ISO works is you get, we do an internal audits, and then it's either once or twice a year, we do an, they have a, they send somebody to do an external audit to make sure that, you know, uh, yeah. all's our, all our T's are crossed, all the do, uh, I's are dotted. Um, you know, it, that, that includes paperwork, materials, every single thing that has to do with the company has to be uh, labeled and everything done properly. Okay, so, so there's that's no a way good around, thing. There's no way around it. Like, so a PF9 and, now, I buy, versus one six years ago, is it a better gun? It is a better gun. Is it better because of the ISO process? Correct, yeah. That and looks at it and makes sure the quality, the materials and quality issues are taken care of, true or false? That's true. Okay, cool. Yeah. And on top of that, uh, our engineer Ryan uh, made some changes to the barrel. Uh, of oh, the PF9? The, yeah, the PF9 okay. in the extractor assembly. And he's actually working on uh, on some other things as well. Uh, the the Sub-2000 Gen 2 is, is his, uh, uh, it's his baby too, so. Sub 2000 Gen 2, that rings a bell. Oh yeah. <laughs> Side fix. Excuse me. The front side's fine. Uh, Dude, we had huge issues with it. I know, it happened Huge. Yeah. It, we could, yeah. talk to me. Yeah, from, even after we got it tightened up, we couldn't keep it zero. How long did we work on it? I bet we put a half hour, 40 minutes into it between all the problems we had and then finally kind of gave up. Yeah, anyways. I don't yeah, know. That's just my two pennies it. Lock, it. it. was some lock tightness in a screwdriver was all you needed. Yeah. Uh, and or you, sorry, not a screwdriver, an Allen key. Well, yeah. I want it. Yeah. Well, do we have one right here to look at? What I was saying, I think you and I said in the field, yeah. it would be super nice if it was keyed. The front, there's one right here. So you have a keyway slot from yeah. this that goes in it and that way it doesn't rotate at all. Yeah. And then all, and then the retention screw only does the, the retention yeah, they for did, and aft. Based off your video, Ryan went and looked at that. He did something to it. I'm not sure what it was he okay. did. But okay. Yeah. Uh, but as that far as fix that gun. Yeah, I thought you guys were talking about your yeah. actual sight post. Well, this came loose first. 
and the this whole thing yeah. was rotated. Okay. So we tightened that, but All then right. we couldn't get this to stay either. This was like kind of wobbling around in there. Yeah, yeah. that's that has to do with that yeah. uh, that flathead area there and some yeah. Loctite. Yeah. Well, it was it was kind of a multi like a like a perfect storm of <laughs> issues at the time. Well, you know we, why? This forehand because it was too. Too. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this, this started the issue. So then, because this was all loose, so then we had to pull the yeah, optic off. This. Hold it real. Yeah. Hold it tight, Chad. Okay, so let me see how this one works. So this one seems like it's working better. The one we had, it, it just, the windage wasn't working well. It was like, yeah. I don't know, it's just kind of hokey. It wasn't positive. Uh, still fun as heck. Yeah, let me just ask you though, customers aren't complaining about it. No. Okay. No one's having a great time with it. Only TMPers. All right. If it's going to break, go, we'll break it. says it sucks. I ain't running until it's fixed. Kidding. Oh, dude. What the heck is this? Show them oh, that. This, yeah, so this is uh, the, the shorty KSG, the tactical KSG, but what you can do is buy it, take it home, you buy it from PFI, you take it home, you submit your paperwork, and uh, once your tax stamp comes through, you cut the barrel off. Oh, that is nice. So that actually, is awesome. Yeah. So you get to take it well, home, have fun with it until you're... Well you know, done. Yeah. Really cool. Kill tech. So just some details, it, it, uh, two and three quarter shells, it holds five in each. So you get 11 in this little thing. Jeez, that, that is sick. awesome. It also comes integrated with the 450 lumen light in the front and the, uh, yeah. well, the, the grip on the front there, yeah. When are those coming out? Uh, they're this 2021, is, and there'll only be 30, 30 produced. No, no, this is these. They're all allocated, by the way. <laughs> no, no, we've out. we've been making this version without the, the extension on the barrel. Uh, we make us an order for LE and yeah. last three guys and stuff. Um, so all this is a matter of not cutting the barrel down to that size. Okay. So it's not it's like a production issue. So right are these now. skews for to buy this right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it's lighter yeah. than it a normal yeah. KSG. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And I you know it. I love the KSG, brother. Me too. Oh, yeah. So here's top kel guns from TMP to the world. Uh, I still love the PF9. Yep. I don't care what anyone else says about it. You've I carry it. Tons of those. I that's love the PF9. Yeah. It's been reliable and excellent for me. The SU-16 is amazing. Yep. The kel SU-22, this one right here, is awesome. The RDB, amazing. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, the RFB. RFB. I don't have a ton of experience yet on the RDB, so I cannot well, rubber I'll, stamp I'll it as am out, amazing. So run around with it. Off the we'll run and both versions, so bring that one out, the bullpup, yeah. okay. but not your race gun. Bring a, a, a production, ISO produced, out of box one. That's what I'll we need show to you exactly. Yeah. That guy's holding it right there. I'll bring that one. And can you do me a favor? And actually run it before you bring it out. <laughs> that we put 2,500 rounds for that without a hiccup yesterday. Every time I hear, hear it, and then it comes out to the project and it hey, jams. Dude, All you guys every watching time. this, write him in because you were here and you shot that thing and it ran great. There you go. Oh, was that range gun uh, yeah, yesterday? Yeah, that was our range gun. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. It's a uh, uh, I love Griffin awesome. stuff. Awesome Griffin's can. a great company. It just goes right over the birdcage. Just snap it on. Do you still have your motorcycle? I do. Do you ever ride it? Yes. You live in Florida and you ride your motorcycle once a year. What's up? <laughs> no, I ride it. You come out to Utah and you go, oh, dude, yeah, yeah, I ride, I ride. It's like, how often do you ride? He's like, no. <laughs> Last year I did it once. No, I ride more than that. Do you have a girlfriend? No. What happened, man? Do you like that I'm delving into your personal life in a booth review? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it. <laughs> I'm single, ladies. No. Yeah, there, there you go. go. You want all Contact this? Contact Keltec. <laughs> you want all this? TMPers <laughs> only, just like farmers What's only. up with the beer nation going on here, by the way? Uh, we got some good beer today. Yeah, on. where's yours? Yeah, I don't even like showing myself. Yeah. I'll show the missus. There's a missus that fancy right there hanging out. Sure. Yeah, clearly you don't need a beer. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. We've okay. probably lost every single viewer that even started. <laughs> probably. Um, Great job in CMR. Like we talked about that. Cool. Uh, I look forward to maybe stuff we talked about. Yeah. Uh, we'll run the RDB more. Yeah. I think this is very cool. And the yeah. shorty KSG shotgun is I'm ultra cool. Yeah. Because, dude, you said 10 total rounds, right? 11 total. Uh, 11 total rounds yeah. with a very it. short overall yeah. package and yeah. it's super lightweight. Uh, yeah. Dude, I want one. Yeah. It's I want one. Be a great motorcycle gun. <laughs> On your gold wing. <laughs> you have nice. a gold wing, don't you? I might have a gold wing. What do you have? Do I look like a gold wing right Yeah, here? you do. No offense, gold wing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with gold yeah. wing. Gold wings are awesome. Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, Suzuki M109 Boulevard. There you go, Boulevard. Yeah, Boulevard. Okay. Yeah. Signing off, Keltec.
Shot Show 2016. See you guys. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate it.